This is your six sports report. Hi, good evening everyone. Lots of excitement at Flyer Bluff. Their softball team is having another incredible year. They won the district going undefeated and here they are just one win away from advancing to the state tournament. This is a team that thrives on pressure and for good reason. Take a look. For the third consecutive week, these Flower Bluff Hornets find themselves playing in a one game winner take all playoff game. It is the ultimate pressure game, but it's something the Hornets have excelled at these past two weeks. And if they can come through again Friday night against Georgetown, well, they're gonna punch their ticket to the state tournament. It's definitely pressure, but again, it's something that we practice for and I think that they do better in the pressure. They don't back down under any circumstances. And so them having it that one game is they get to put every single thing into it. And so it's been it's been good for them. I feel like it's just the same as district like you one game and it's done. And we've been going really good with them and I have a really good feeling. I think it's very stressful, but it's like it makes it that much more intense because, you know, you have to put all of your energy into it because it's one and done, like you don't get another opportunity. And speaking of opportunity, Coach Auger is a former Islander player. She always dreamed of becoming a softball coach, and here she is coaching in the town she played in. Uh, softball's been my whole life for my entire life, and so it's been a lot of fun being able to show what I've learned throughout the years playing. And uh, it's fun having it here because there's people who talk about how they've seen me play, and so it's been an exciting adventure to be a part of that still in this area. All right, now she graduated from Texas A&M Corpus Christi in 2017. Her Lady Hornets had to practice probably indoors today due to a, a wet field. And again, they'll play Georgetown Friday night in Jordanton at seven o'clock. All right, let's head to Waterburger Field. Do you remember the?